today we're gonna have a look at the retroid pocket 2s and there's no wasting time let's get right into it As always, I get my stuff from Go Game Geek. The link is there in the description. Please make sure you guys check it out. So this is going to be a quick and straight to the point video. I have no intention to waste any of your precious time. So please make sure you guys watch it till the end. Now I have to start by saying I love Retroid as a company and they've been making the best handheld emulators out there. Especially this year, they gave us Retroid Pocket Flip, which is a clamshell device, the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, which also has a metal edition to compete directly with the RG405M. And almost end of the year, we got the 2S. So this handheld came with the T610 chipset, which is similar to the T618. And when it comes to performance, I've done 100 plus PS2 gameplay tests with this handheld last week. So I'd recommend watching that to get a clear picture. So it came with LPDDR4X RAM and you have an option to choose between 3 or 4 GB. And same with the storage, you have an option to choose either 32 GB or 128 GB. Now talking about the display, it has a 3.5 inch 640 by 480 LCD display and has a 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. It has a 4000 mAh battery, it has Bluetooth, it has Wi-Fi, and finally it has a micro HDMI port and a 3.5mm audio jack. Even though it is marked as a $99 handheld, that price would only make sense if you're buying the bare minimum of just the handheld with the 3GB RAM and the 32GB storage. And the price will go above $100 as soon as you select higher options plus the additional shipping cost. So you definitely can't call this a under $100 handheld. The face buttons are really awesome. It has a nice retro look to it and it feels great when you press it. The design of the D-pad is similar to the Retro Pocket 3 Plus's D-pad. It is pretty accurate and I have to say this is one of my favorite D-pads ever. Now looking at these small analog sticks, these are using Hall Effect sensors and I'm really impressed how great these are while playing games. Then we have these tiny select and start buttons and the Android function buttons on the bottom. And finally the trigger and shoulder buttons on top. The cool thing is that this has analog style triggers. And I have to say I have zero complaints about the shoulder buttons. Especially love how these trigger buttons have a lot of travel to it. Now on the top we have a micro HDMI port, a USB-C port, a volume rocker and a power button. Looking at the bottom, we have a micro SD card slot and a 3.5mm audio jack. Alright, so next we'll do an audio test and a comparison. Next we'll have a size comparison. Alright, so next we'll do some gameplay testing.
So as a conclusion, I can say that this device is as good as any T618 chipset device. I mean, certain games might play slightly better on a T618 handheld, but the difference won't be that much. And if you're buying this to play PS2 or GameCube games, well, it all depends on your patience level. Some games might play really well if you know how to tweak the settings. At the same time, some would be too laggy to play. So it's not going to be perfect for PS2, GameCube or Wii. Apart from that, I love how compact it is, a very decent build quality for a budget device. I mean, you get a lot of value for the money you pay for. The only thing I was not a big fan of is this bezel. But if you prefer a handheld with a bigger screen, there are so many options out there. So at the end, I totally recommend this handheld if you already don't have a T618 handheld. And if you have RG35XX, I would suggest skipping the mid-level handhelds like RG353P or RG353V and directly jump into this one. So I would like to give this a 4.5 out of 5 because this handheld definitely needs to be considered as a benchmark of how a retro handheld should be moving forward. And with that, I would like to wrap up today's video. Please make sure you guys leave a like if you found this video helpful and please consider subscribing to stay tuned. Until next time. Ciao.